Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV here at Brownells. We're at GunCon 2023. I'm with Brian of BioFire. We've got the new smart gun that everyone has been hearing about. Normally, smart guns go straight into the trash, and especially in the gun community. Nobody trusts them. I don't trust them. Ian McCollum, my buddy Ian, forgot weapons, called me, said, James, check this out. It's legit. I did not believe him. I love Ian, but okay. uh, you know I am, and I told you before we started rolling, I'm very skeptical of any smart gun technology. What is the BioFire, and why is it different? For sure, yeah, so absolutely. I mean, we, we kind of knew when we started this project, it was right off the heels of Armatix and some of the, of the other attempts at smart guns. It didn't go super well. And so we spent a lot of time at the very beginning just kind of looking at what did they get wrong? And our kind of takeaway from that was uh, they didn't spend enough time talking with gun owners. You know, they didn't spend enough time trying to understand how does this thing actually need to work and where does it actually need to work. And so we did a lot of that. And, you know, and as a designer, when I get into a project, I start talking to people and I ask, what's your current situation? And then, like, what's the ideal situation? And with us, we started to figure out the situation with a home defense firearm, we weren't quite in the ideal scenario yet. You weren't in a situation where you could put this away anywhere you want, unlocked, loaded. And, and not have to worry about anything that was happening. You know, if you lived in a house with small children or, you know, you had roommates that you didn't quite know that well, you know, people were concerned about have, who would have access to their firearms. And then they're putting trigger locks on them, they're putting them in safes, and those are great, but they're also keeping them locked away from you if there's an emergency. And so the BioFire Smart Gun, it's the first handgun in the world that only you as the owner or someone you choose can unlock and fire. So the whole idea with this is it uses biometrics. It uses two different biometrics. The whole concept that two of one, two is one, one is none. Mm -hmm. So you have a fingerprint sensor that reads your middle finger of your shooting hand, and it's also a rear facial recognition camera. And the gun also knows if it's being held. It has an active uh, grip system that can sense. You can see if I put my hand near it, it's waking up. And so this is all about just you can use the gun just like you would any other gun. And it's thinking about situations that you would be in in a home defense scenario. You know, you probably it's at night. You know, you're not wearing like bracelets or you know rings or anything that you need to unlock it but you do always have your biometrics on you and so the whole idea with this is you can store this anywhere you want any way you want and you can pick it up have access to it and shoot it and nobody else can now I think you know this but if your system is not 100% reliable in terms of me needing to use the gun people are absolutely going to burn you down sure. how reliable is this system yeah, so we're not going to release this gun until it meets all the standards. So like right now, we're in our pre-production phase. So we're op it's open for pre-orders, but we're not shipping them until next year at the latest. So first batches might go out to our early investors, things like that at the end of the year. But uh, no, it has to meet it. Like that was one of the things, one of our first requirements was reliability. You know, every gun owner we talked to said, it's got to work. This is a life-saving device. You know, I got to trust this thing. It's like a defibrillator. It better work when I need it to. And so that's the level that we are building it to. You know, our team that built this, we have a lot of people that come from aerospace, the defense industry, and they're gonna validate this to the same requirements that any other medical device or aerospace thing needs to be. And we're not gonna release it until it's 100% ready. Well, that's somewhat encouraging, but you know, again, you know, like I said, a little worried about the technology, but it sounds like that's something you guys are keeping in mind, but you have two hurdles. Not only do you need to have something that will work when I need it to work from a biometric standpoint, but if the gun's a piece of shit, who cares? Like if you have, so talk to me about the actual firearm hardware itself. Yeah, for sure. So when we were doing our research, we kind of talked to two different tranches of people. We talked to the groups of new gun owners. There's a lot of people out there that would love to buy a gun, but it doesn't quite, they can't quite get over the hump of the access problem. So something like this is what they've been waiting for. At the same time, they don't understand what you're talking about. They don't know things about like muzzle flip, felt recoil, you know, how quickly I can reacquire a target. And so we talked to experts all the way up to people who've been on SEAL Team 6. And we've had them look at this and run it through the paces and say, and give us feedback on how it feels as a firearm. And basically the takeaway was there can't be anything different about this when you shoot it. Like the experience of shooting this gun, you got to kind of forget that it's got all the technology in it. And so that's when we, we looked at the dual biometrics, getting the speed of, of unlocking, what our trigger break is, all of that stuff. Because the, the gun is actually fired by wire. It's the only handgun in the world where there's no direct linkage between mm -hmm. the trigger and dropping the sear. Uh, so because of that, all of the trigger feel is simulated. And so we could really dial that and tune in for like, all right, we want to do a five pound trigger break. Like we can actually simulate that and uh, make the experience of shooting this no different than any other gun. You're terrifying my inner boomer, Brian. <laughs> I, I, it is really hard for me to get on board with this, but you're very passionate about it. Uh, we appreciate that. Yeah, we definitely are. And the thing is, I think uh, our, our whole takeaway with this is it's been, like, it's built by gun owners. You know, I've been a gun owner most of my life. 
we want to see this as an option for people for home defense, but it's certainly not a replacement for any for all other guns. You know, I have a lot of other guns. I don't want to see this replaced. Um, so that's the whole idea is this is the gun I would keep in my nightstand. How much is this going to cost? So it's going to start at $14.99, and that's for the base model. We have a number of other editions you can buy, things like uh, hard cases and stuff like that, special editions that kind of drop throughout the year. Uh, but $14.99 gets you the smart gun, two magazines, and the dock. The dock is how you interface with the gun, touchscreen interface. And that's how you program yourself in as the owner. It's how you change settings on the gun. If you want to add somebody else to the gun, that's how you do it. Uh, if you want to set somebody for an hour at the range, you can do that as well. And uh, that all comes with the package. Okay. Well, again, this is very, on paper, very exciting. Skeptical, skeptical. If you guys ever want to send one to me, I will absolutely thrash it. So keep that in mind. I'm trying to keep my mind open. I, I think all people should, even though I'm sitting here carping and complaining about it. I think that this is interesting technology. Again, my buddy Ian says, like, you guys have a legit thing going on here. So, you know what? I wish you the best of luck. And, you know, if you do ever want to send one for us to hard test on TFB TV, I'll be glad to do that for you. Brian, great to meet you. Yeah, thanks, James. Let's get you out. Let's get you to shoot some prototypes. Yeah, sure. No, I, I'd love to. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more gun content.